Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble, humble stroke assaulter. So uh, I was going to do a video yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I had a really rough day at work. I had some really bad aphasia and I had to go. So recording this video later in the evening on Wednesday. I was expecting to have this done yesterday, but shit happens. So I'm going to talk about an experience I had while on vacation. I did a video about sensory sensitivity and shopping. Um, I've done another video on sensory sensitivity. So let's just talk about sensory sensitivity and shopping. I had the advantage of being in Halifax on a Sunday. Why is that an advantage? Why is Halifax, Nova Scotia better than any other city on a Sunday in Canada that I'm aware of? Other than the fact it's Halifax. It's fucking amazing. There's a grocery store chain known as Sobeys. Sobeys, they're, they're nationwide that I'm aware of, because I know we have them in Ontario. I'm going to assume they're in La Belle Province, where they speak the Quebecs, um, and other provinces. So, Sobeys is a national chain, or at least a mainly national chain. Sobeys has partnered with uh, Autism Nova Scotia to have basically quiet hours on every Sunday between 6 in the evening and 7 in the evening. My girlfriend and I happened to luck out, and... With a little bit of lucky planning, um, we ended up at a Sobeys. We, we honestly needed groceries, and we were traveling back from, I believe, Peggy's Cove. And we decided, well, there's one right here. Let's just see what it's all about. Since my stroke, a lot of it's been a learning curve. No one, haven't really had like a coach or a mentor to go, hey, watch out for this or watch out for that. Or this could be an issue or that could be an issue. So since my stroke, a lot of it's really been... Frustration, trial, and error. Frustration, trial, and error. And as I've learned new things, and things have gotten easier because of initially it was, well, I think I just need sunglasses when I'm shopping. And then it's like, you know what? No, I need sunglasses and earphones when I'm shopping. You know what? I think I need sunglasses, earphones, and we need to find hours that the store is not as busy so there's not as many people. Because unfortunately, when you have sensory sensitivity or sensory defensiveness, and again, sensory sensitivity or sensory defensiveness, I'll leave the link down below in the description on the video I did on sensory sensitivity and shopping. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the concept of someone that has difficulty with various senses, and how those senses react and interact with their environment because of a neurological disorder. And that could be because of a stroke, that could be because of a brain injury, that could be because of autism, that could be because of Asperger's. Literally any neurological disease disorder or dysfunction could trigger some of these sensory episodes. Also certain psychological psychiatric disorders like an operational stress injury or post-traumatic stress disorder or um, uh, certain forms of anxiety disorders, uh, possibly, you know, other disorders that I'm not able to sort of correlate to this topic. All of those can play havoc. They, they can literally make a 20-minute shopping adventure into a fucking nightmare. But that's not the context of this video. That's just sort of some backstory. So we get down to Peggy's Cove. We have some amazing, like, homemade small batch ice cream, which is brilliant. And we're driving back from Peggy's Cove into Halifax. We decide to stop at a Sobeys. I forget which one, but it's irrelevant because all the Sobeys in Halifax, uh, between 6 o'clock in the evening and 7 o'clock in the evening on Sundays, have the quiet hour. Well, what's a quiet hour? They turn the lights down. So all the overhead lights, all the um, fl fluorescent lights, all the fluorescent lights that are overhead, they get pretty much shut off. I think they're only working on sodium lighting, like soda lighting. Uh, they had no music. There was no ambient noise. Uh, I believe they might have turned the sound on the beeping devices down. They didn't turn it exactly off. Sobeys, I would make one recommendation, if possible. Turn off the beeping. Okay. 
Another thing they didn't do, and I wasn't really consciously aware about this, because I'll be honest, they weren't trying to herd people to those fucking self-checkout machines. The last thing a person with a sensory sensitivity disorder wants to have to deal with is an automated checkout machine. I hate those things. I absolutely... Well, one, why pay an employee when you can just pay a computer? So I, I, I honestly feel you are removing someone's livelihood by installing one of these machines. But not only that, for someone that has a sensory sensitivity disorder, it can be difficult on a good day just to get through the checkout and deal with a human. Now throw in the fact I've got to look at a screen and type and listen to the beeps and, and be interacting with this thing. So for those of us that have sensory sensitivities and sensory defensiveness, the last thing I want to deal with in a grocery store, in a Walmart, in a major department, like any store, I don't care what store, the last thing I want to deal with is one of those automated checkout machines. I prefer to do my banking with the teller um, when and where possible. I, I can still, don't get me wrong, I can still use a bank machine. I just prefer now interacting with the teller because I have a better conscious memory of that interaction and I make sure that what I'm doing is what I want to do right? and I don't have to worry about looking at a screen and whatever else. So we get into Sobeys and immediately I was overwhelmed by how quiet it was. It was, it was, it was, it was amazing. I didn't have to wear my headphones. And for those of you that don't quite understand that, you're like, well, you wear headphones? Well, I wear headphones when I shop. Yeah, you choose to listen to music. You choose to listen to a podcast. For you, it's entertainment. For me, it's a necessity. For those of us that have sensory defensiveness, sensory sensitivities, shopping can be like tap dancing through a minefield while petting a burning dog with a blindfold on. It's, it, it, it is one of the most arduous things you're ever going to have to do. The problem is because stores have the things and we need the things, you have to go to the stores. Yeah, no, we do. That's where they hide the things. You know, like, you know that stuff called millet? You know, millet, that stuff you like? Yeah, we get that at stores. So quit your bitching. So... It was, it was overwhelming how quiet it was. I, I took my headphones out and immediately realized, I don't fucking need these things. And then, as a tester, just to see what happened if this went down range, I took my sunglasses off. And I started to cry. Like a PBA, post-stroke, can't control your emotions. Because it was, it was joyous. Absolutely joyous to not have to wear sunglasses, to not have to have headphones in to and now probably is a happy accident like a bob ross kind of happy little trees kind of happy accident um people that shop at sobeys normally have realized between six and seven is probably not the time i want to go to the store so i'm going to assume and again thank you for the general community in halifax if this is what you're doing because this is what i suspect you're doing because you know scotians are fucking brilliant i love you people um so I'm assuming the general public has realized that between six and seven on a Sunday is not the time I need to go to the store. So I don't need to be there. So I'm going to choose not to be there. I'm sure you're probably going to get the odd Johnny come lately type guy or girl who hasn't quite got the memo yet, but still is willing to shop. But there weren't, you know, a husband, a wife and two kids caterwauling and screaming. Like you didn't have that. In fact, I'm going to guess there might have only been 20, 25, 30 shoppers in the store total, like in the entirety of that store. And it had like the full meat, fruit, veg, produce, bakery. It had, it had all the things, um, pharmacy, everything, right? So it had everything you could possibly need at, at a, um, a, a grocer. There might have been 25 people that were shoppers in the entire store they weren't announcing things over the loud hailer or the tannoy or the public address system whatever you might be familiar with the term they weren't um you know like they weren't announcing things like hey there's a new special in aisle three come get this and then you didn't get the hey price check on whatever 
And the only noise that was being made by the store was was the, the beeping at the front till. Even the cashier that dealt with this, and I don't remember your name, and I'm sorry that I don't, uh, but I know I had a conversation with you about how beneficial your services that you're offering to your neurologically sensitive customer base are and and how how happy i was in your store and how accommodating and it, it, it how how the, the sense of respect and dignity i had in that moment being able to shop and look normal because before my stroke i only wore sunglasses in the sun on a sunny day when you needed sunglasses headphones you know you're in Toronto on the TTC or you're doing something where you kind of want to be in your own space so you want to listen to your own music or you're something like a podcast or a radio station so you put in headphones for me those were a, a casual luxury now they're everyday a carry necessity for me I, I don't have the choice of leaving my house without sunglasses headphones on me at all times because I'm going to need them. That's just the reality. I'm going to need them. And to have a moment post-stroke that was effortless. It, it felt effortless. It felt organic. It felt normal. That's how it felt. Um, I go shopping in Ontario. No one in my region has this. No store that I know of has this. Um, I've read about them. Smaller locations like some no-frills here in Ontario. Here and there might have it. But Metro, you don't have it. Foodland, you don't have it. Walmart, you don't have it. Shoppers Drug Mart, you don't have it. You know, um, our local mall, they don't have it. Uh, no frills, you don't have it. Like, I can literally not think of one single store that is a major chain store that I have to go into to, to do just the normal debris of life. You know, everything from... So before my girlfriend and I went on vacation, we had to go and get things like razors and toothpaste and, you know soap and just some of the normal debris you might need just to go on a travel loading like no oh, we don't have any sunscreen let's go no we didn't have sunscreen and one of us burns easy and it's not me um so we needed to get things well you've got to go into the stores now like for example shoppers drug mart you're a drugstore you're a chemist you're a pharmacy you're in the healthcare industry why is it an institution in Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart, that is a pharmacy that deals with people's medications and their well-being. And yeah, I'm calling them out. This is a bit of a clapback. If you don't like it, you can go over there. Um, why is it Shoppers Drug Mart, who deal with customers' health day in, day out, why are you not respectful, mindful, and considerate to your neuro, neurologically atypical customers, be it brain injury, be it stroke, be it um, Asperger's, be it um, 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 autism, be it any other neurological dysfunction, deficit or disorder that causes someone, or, or psychiatric psychological issue that causes someone to have sensory sensitivity, sensory defensiveness. Why is it you as a drugstore do not have this as an option once a week? Um, Walmart, you're everywhere, literally everywhere. Why is it, you know, you don't have this as an option? Canadian Tire, you're the the original Canadian big box store. You even have your own money, Canadian Tire money, where I can go buy a barbecue or a canoe strictly in Canadian Tire money. Why is it you don't have a sensory sensitivity? hour or so now here here lies difficulty and i appreciate 
that this will be difficult for people to organize and, and manage. I realize it's going to require a corporate shift. I realize that it is going to cost you some money to do this. And I also realize you can't all have your quiet times at the same time because that's going to now limit when I'm able to go shopping. So you're going to have to have a little meeting amongst yourself and figure out, well, we're going to have quiet time on Saturdays and we'll do Thursdays and we'll do Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Like you guys are going to have to figure that shit out on yourselves because I'm just a talking head at this moment who's having a bit of a rant. From the experience I had in Halifax, for maybe the 35, 40 minutes, I was in Sobeys in Halifax shopping. I'm going to be honest. It's probably the most normal I felt in a shopping environment since my stroke. It is, I can guarantee this much, it is the only time I've come back from shopping after my stroke where I didn't need a fucking nap or just to take a break or need medication or had a headache. Like, I, we left your store and... I could just walk out of the store all fat, dumb, and happy. And, and no major hassles, no dramas, no worries, no hurries. I just got on my life. So, again, Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart, no frills. Um, Sobeys in Ontario, if you don't do it. I don't know if you do, because we don't have a Sobeys in my city. Um, uh, um, Canadian Tire. Like, all the major Canadian stores, right? that use a tannoy or loud hailer or intercom system to call out price check on aisle five and clean up on aisle three and all the other stuff. And, and that play the heavy music, right? That have bright fluorescent lights. I don't think you understand the negative impact you can have on your clients that have sensory deficits that have to, either get a friend to go shopping for them or stumble through a minefield while petting a burning dog whilst wearing a blindfold just to go and get the necessities of life. No, it's, it's difficult. You've seen me. You know. Get up there, buddy. So, on that note, I just thought I'd say thank you, Sobies. Thank you, Autism Nova Scotia, for being the tip of the spear on allowing those of us that have neurological deficits to know what it's like to feel normal again while we get to go shopping. To know what it's like to not have to worry about what you're going to look like in an hour's time after trying to navigate the stumbles and pitfalls of shopping. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. And for those of you that have been enjoying what you've been watching, please like, share, subscribe. If you happen to know someone who's going through their own post-stroke journey or someone who um, is supporting someone going through their own post-stroke journey, please point the channel out to them. They might get some value out of the content they generate. If you want to get in contact with me directly, you can email me at strokeassaulter@gmail.com. If this topic happens to resonate with you and you'd like to share some of your experiences, uh, please do so in the comments down below. Or if you'd like to get in contact with me, you can do so in the comments down below. Or I do have Twitter, the um, my Twitter handle is in the link in the descriptions down below and if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke that being someone who appears to immediately be fuddled confused or has a lack of sense of balance someone who has um, vision problems they can't they're having problems with their eyes they can't see out of one eye they can't they can't move their eyes in one direction they only see in grayscale they only see a little dot in the world they have facial droop there's a visual noticeable slackening of the facial muscles on one side they can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. They have slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Um, they can't smile equally effectively or at all. They have general body weakness, weakness on one side, or the inability to stand unaided. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.